Amoeba are one of the most popular microorganisms in the classroom. Unfortunately, they are the most difficult to lo locate in a culture jar. The most important thing you need to remember about amoeba is that they do not like light. By covering them with a black cloth or keeping them in a drawer or a closet, you'll ensure that the amoeba are actually moving around, ensuring that students will be able to find them, or at least are more likely to find them, when they take a sample. So I have the jar covered with a black cloth. Amoeba like to live near the bottom of a lake or a pond near the debris. So when I uncover the jar, I'm going to look near the debris for white flecks or specks moving around in the jar. I can do this underneath a stereoscope with no light on it and look closely or with a hand lens, keeping the jar covered as much as possible. I'll take the cover off, open the jar, and take a small sample. Cover the jar, cover, and add the sample to a well slide. I will not be using cover slips. Cover slips keep the sample from having enough oxygen and the amoeba will stop moving. The other thing I'm not going to use for amoeba is anything to slow them down. They crawl along. So to slow them down, they won't move at all, and they'll just look like debris within the slide itself. Now I have the light source up much too high. I'm going to dim the diaphragm as much as possible and turn the light down. In this way, the amoeba will be shielded from as much light as possible. One of the problems that students have with amoeba is that there's no definite shape, so they don't know what to look for. So what I recommend is that they find a small piece of what looks like debris off by itself a little bit and just wait. The light going through the microscope is enough that the amoeba is not going to like it, and eventually it will use its pseudopods and move away. Although they are difficult to find, the amoeba are a great microorganism for students because they're slow enough that they can track them. And within that amoeba, you can see the nucleus or nuclei and the organelles streaming. This fascinates students. So once again, look near the bottom, near the debris, keep the culture covered, and you will find your amoeba.